Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. I want you guys to hear something right quick, and then I'm going to break break it down, and I'm going to, you know, try to be as transparent as possible. You know, I want you guys to understand me, and I want to be as clear as possible. And, you know, we're going to talk about this. But I just want you to hear this, and then, you know, like I said, I'll break this down, and I'm going to compare notes, and then I'm going to compare history. And this is where I come up with my analysis of what I think about this situation. So just take a listen. To see how he shoots in the first quarter. And if you would have got here on time, when the game started, you would have seen Michael has been burning it up. You're a football player, yet you do basketball. I mean, I'm asking the question. You never see like uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar doing a boxing match. How did you get to do that? How did you get this job? Because I'm like that. Okay. (laughs) Now, in case you guys don't know what that was you was listening to, that was uh, an NBA game. Uh, from yesteryear during the Michael Jordan days. This is when Ahmad Rashad was a uh, basically a sideline reporter where he basically, you know, would do analysis. And he did an interview, a quick interview with Chris Rock. And basically, you know, I guess this interview was set up and I guess Chris Rock arrived late. And, you know, uh, Ahmad Rashad made a little joke and a little light lecture about Chris Rock coming on time. But, you know, instead of Chris Rock, and this is what I mean about comedians being hypocrites and they can dish it out, but they can't take it. Now, instead of Chris Rock just, you know, just having a sense of humor, he could have just made his typical, well, you know how black people is, you know, black people never show up to an event on time. He tried to say, oh, well, how do you get this job? You're a football player. You don't see Kareem Abdul-Jabbar talking boxing and all this kind of stuff. So he tries to dig into him and he tries to humiliate him when he was just joking about him being late. And this is what I say about comedians. A lot of them are bullies. And this is what I'm saying about Chris Rock history of doing this type of stuff, you know, of being disrespectful. And this is why I didn't have no problem with what Will Smith did to him. Now, wrong place, Wrong time to do it. But at the end of the day, um, a lot of people predicted behind the scenes that this was eventually going to happen to Chris Rock. And this is why I'm saying Chris Rock is no victim. And for the people that's sitting up here babying this dude up, you know, cuddling him like he's some some wounded little chick that's like five feet five and been getting abused and beat up all 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 their life. Now they saying he used to get bullied. Well, at the end of the day, well, comedians try to bully people. I mean, he didn't have to say, well, how'd you get this job? One, he just showed his ignorance. Now, for those who don't know, since he wanted to talk about Kareem uh, not doing boxing, for those who don't know, uh, Kareem visited Bruce Lee back in the back in the day. Bruce Lee opened up one of his uh, first schools in Oakland. And Kareem came down there and he trained with Bruce Lee uh, for a little bit. That's fact. Now, for most people who are ignorant to the situation, most of these athletes that you see playing whatever they may be playing at the, at the time, whether it's basketball or football, most of them are, uh, two sport athletes. Some, some even three. Y'all do know when Donovan McNabb went to Syracuse, he played basketball and football. And there was talks of bringing Donovan McNabb to the NBA. Dave Winfield if I'm not mistaken, played all three sports. Football, baseball, and basketball. Dave Winfield, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm sure Two Raw knows this because he's a historian when it comes to this kind of stuff. Dave Winfield was drafted by the San Diego Clippers. If I'm not mistaken, he could have played basketball or uh, baseball. Russell Wilson was a pitcher. Uh, Colin Kaepernick played both baseball and football. Uh, Cal Ripken Jr. had a basketball background and knows about the NBA. Terrell Owens, who I've seen play basketball up close and personal, is a hell of a basketball player. And if I'm not mistaken, he was a a two-sport athlete. So that just goes to show you how ignorant Chris Rock is. I, I, I could 
I could go on. I could go on about this dude. So I, I just named some of the uh, athletes that had a background of two sports. So it's not unusual. And as you can see, Frank Gore has went from football to being a professional boxer. And Frank Gore flatlined his last opponent. So this isn't nothing out of the ordinary. So why can't Ahmad Rashad do, do the NBA? Ahmad Rashad had a basketball background. Some rappers had a basketball background. Uh, Two Chains was a hell of a basketball player. Uh, Blueface got recruited by uh, colleges because he was a quarterback in high school. So for Chris Rock to just say something ignorant, you know, just for trying to come back because he couldn't take a lighthearted joke, that just shows you his personality. But he wants to play victim. Oh, I don't know why Will Smith slapped me. Like I said, he's been doing this stuff for years. This all built up the thing with Will Smith. Because he's been, he been talking about Jada Smith uh, for years. But this is what I've been trying to say about Chris Rock's personality. No reason to do that to Ahmad Rashad. And then he was finna try to further dig into him. So Ahmad Rashad said, you know what, let me go on to end this. That's why he said, well, I got it like that. You know, so Chris Rock was the one that could have caused the embarrassing moment right then and there. He could have just made a lighthearted joke and left it at that. But he tried to, oh, how you get this job? Like, come on, man. And if you look at his demeanor, it, it, it was me. It, it was mean spirited. It was it was with bad intentions. So, like I said, that's for all all you people sitting up here trying to defend Chris Rock. And like I say, trying to make it look like he just some some dude that just got picked on by Will Smith and saying Will Smith need to learn how to take a joke. Well, obviously, Chris Rock can't take a joke. Oh, how'd you get this job? Like, man, I, I, man, I, I've been trying to tell y'all about Chris Rock. Like I said, man, I came with the receipts. So for the people that's going to try to you know, make excuses and all that. Cause you know, from what I've saw over the last months of change, you saw a lot of people trying to make excuses, trying to just put this all on Will Smith and stuff and trying to make it look like Will Smith is it, just a dude that just tried to bully Chris Rock. And you heard it, everybody feeling sorry for Chris Rock. Like I said, like, Oh, I can't believe. Oh, like, like I said, everything has consequences. That's just real talk. Like I said, it's funny when comedians talk about people, which I, I've already said, I don't really care for comedians talking about people that pay their hard earn money to come see them and stuff, because I don't think they should be part of the act. For real, I'm coming to see you tell jokes about other people or yourself or people, you know, not me. You know, so I'm, I'm just saying, man, I just wanted to further prove what type of cat that Chris Rock really is. Like I said, he have a mean spirit to him. And like I said before, he been doing this before. Go back to the 2016 Oscars where he made that 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 smart remark about Jada Pinkett. Then that joke about Rihanna's panties, that could have been deemed as very inappropriate. Talking about it's like Rihanna's panties, you wasn't invited. Kind of that ain't the same. And, and, and then trying to ridicule black people for basically saying hey that the oscars have been ostracizing and freezing out and you know ignoring performances by black actors talking about well you know I, i'm pretty sure in the 60s well you know what we ain't talked about the 60s we talked about what was currently going on in the oscars history and it coincides with racism what was going on in the 60s punk but anyway man i just wanted to give y'all some you, you, you know some quick receipts you know, Town B is always on the job. I'm out.